share with you. So cool. Here is my group. This is uh, this is quick cash coaching, and this group here will gonna be school of dropshipping. All right. So let me just get one person over the school of dropshipping there, and and we will share. This is uh, cool, important, and very easy to understand. I need some markers. Pro oh, I got some markers here. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, okay, so let me do this for you guys. Um, as you know probably when we in when we start doing when we start doing dropshipping or we start selling, it doesn't matter what we are planning to do. Okay, who is there? Caspers is there. Hi Caspers, good. So I've got folks here, school of dropshipping and quick cash coaching there. This is the thing what you have to understand. Even, even you guys, because sometimes we forget about this. I, I didn't realize this for a, for a, quite a few years. I think for two years I didn't realize those four steps that te eBay is testing us. There is a test you can, you can even put like a, So this is the test. You see, this is the test sheet, okay? This is the test sheet, and you have to pass those four tests to be able to sell on eBay. And I will gonna share with you four of them. One, two, three, four. Okay, I failed with all of them. I didn't pass, that's why I was kicked out of the eBay, okay? So your, your uh, uh, school, school of dropshipping and quick cash coaching, some of you are in the same groups, okay? <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, I'm giving this only for you, then I will gonna switch off uh, I'm going to switch off you because I want to share only this message with everybody. Then I will keep talking to my folks with a quick cash coaching group. Okay. But those four things, what eBay, as you come to the eBay, they will, they have kind of like, a, they have kind of like this, they have kind of like this sheet. And, uh, okay, who are you? Andrew. Okay, Andrew. What are you going to do? Okay. So the first question is actually I already said who are you? Okay? Who are you? They don't care about your name. They don't care about uh, they don't care about uh, uh, your nationality or, or, or what color you are or, or how smart you are on English or whatever language. They don't care about this. They care about who are you? What is your intention here? So you coming to me, I'm an eBay, right? You come to me, you say, hey, hey, I want to make money, I want to do this dropshipping, I want to ship it and, 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 uh, and uh, let the money flow because this is very cool business I want to do. Who are you? Because this is my platform, this is my business, this is my platform, right? Why would I need you in my company? Who are you? So you don't have to provide your CV kind of like your CV, but there is some kind of CV what you have to put it down there. Yes, I am this, I am this. Okay, so you are newbie, right? Okay, good, newbie. So you have to pass the first test. You are newbie or, or somebody who is, uh, with the under this question is who are you that they want to see what you are doing there? Who are you that you are coming to my company to do some business? Who are you? Why would I let you to do this? What do you have? It's number two. Number first test is who are you? You have to prove who you are. Who you are. That's why some of you guys, have, maybe not all of you, but some of you have been facing, for those who just joined School of Dropshipping, I'm talking to two different directions because this is School of Dropshipping, this is Quick Cash Coaching, okay? So, for some of you, you have been restricted, right? Or you have seen on uh, eBay's, on a Facebook group, uh, on a eBay Facebook group, dropshippers group, whatever, that the people, they complain that they restricted and they got this message from uh, eBay, blah, 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 goes blah, blah, blah. Who are you, basically? They they confused, who are you? Wait, wait a second, you are from Morocco and you want to sell on eBay and your address is in China. Oh, how it goes together, okay? You don't have to, don't mess up with your account settings. Okay, that, that's important, that you have to, 
go overcome this who are you question and and some people believe me some folks they just missed out on the first one they even didn't go next one because you see this is why i'm giving uh, you guys not all of the school of dropshipping are in 799 but this is when you start listing right that's the point why you have the 24 hour window after you put your first product on a list you got 24 hour window wait wait don't put there 20 products when you open up top okay because you wait put out one product there 24 hours wait because they are testing who are you what is your settings how did you put this down there okay you don't waste your time you don't waste your well okay i have 10 lim i have 25 limits i can put 25 down there no 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 this is not what you're doing this is not what we are doing you know that okay guys this is what we're not doing the next question what you have to pass on an ebay list there is a next question for you they okay okay i know you andrew okay you are andrew okay you are what do you have? Oh, because I'm eBay, right? I'm an owner. I'm the owner of the big platform. I have a lot of audience. I have millions and millions of audience, okay? I'm the eBay. I own the audience. I don't want you or you to come to my company and put some crap on there, on my list, on my shelves. Because you, guys, I, my audience, it's an eBay's audience, okay? I'm the eBay. My audience is, uh, I don't want to lose my audience. I'm losing my audience already. They are running away to Amazon, to my neighbors next door. So what do you have? Why would I need you to let you to list on my site? Do you have something valuable? Or you just uh, came with some kind of like crap? If you came with the crap, just go away, list somewhere else. Maybe on, uh, I don't know where, on a Shopify or somewhere else, you know? Oh, no, no, not on my platform, no, no. <laughs> I'm okay, see? I'm losing customers already because they are complaining that there is a lot of crap on eBay going on and a lot, they don't know even how to ship the products. They promised they were gonna ship in two days but the product didn't came in one week. Huh? What do you have? Okay, this is in a list here. You have to prove what do you have. Oh! Well, you know, I got this, and you have a text. You have a text. If you face this, you have a text in the training group. Even if you get the, the question from the, from the eBay, you have the text, the script. Want to answer? Well, I got this uh, nice idea that I can uh, dropship the things I have posted and, and stuff. You have the text word by word. You can use exactly the same text if you face the problem, okay? So nothing wrong with the dropshipping. You can... You can, I, I guarantee guys, I guarantee you and I guarantee you, you can use word dropshipping when you talk to phone with eBay. eBay is okay about dropshipping. eBay is not okay about if you don't know who are you, if you never pass those four, texts, the four tests here. That's not okay because you are gonna be kicked out. And this, and so many people are complaining there that, wow, 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 eBay is against dropshipping. eBay is against dropshipping. No, eBay is against, I don't want to swear here, but about those crackers who, who don't know what to do on, a, on when they open the eBay account and they just uh, try to scam something there. Okay, so the next is the next was what you have to. What do you have? What do you have? Well, that's that's why when you get restricted sometimes when you get restricted, they ask, "Where did you get the product? Where is the receipt? Show me the receipt." Okay, have you been asked to provide receipts for them? Yeah, I think some of the some of you have been asked to provide because I got a lot of messages. Andre, what can I do now? Because eBay is asking me those questions. Where can I get receipts for my products? Okay, you don't have to have receipts because you have to explain that you're a dropshipper, right? What do you have? I have all those items. I, I found a great supplier. My cousin is working on that. My cousin owns the shop and he's selling successfully on, on Amazon and I want to sell as well on eBay, okay? You don't have any receipts. You don't, you don't have to have receipts. What do you have? You have, to, you have to prove them that you have something, some value for them to, to, to sell. What, what do you have? 
what do you have for me? Because I'm eBay. I want to know that you are listing products. Sometimes, and again, this is, guys, you know, you don't know these guys, but those guys, the Quick Cash Coaching Group knows that. Remember, here it comes where we go to non constructive listing, destructive listing, and constructive listing. Or we did it in another way constructive, non constructive, destructive. Okay, what do you have? And here, where many people, well, they do destructive, they fail. Mm, they didn't pass this because even if you do non constructive and go back to the videos and watch the videos about non constructive listing, that's why you got this question hey, okay, it seems like you got, we gave you 10 limits and you do something. Of, um, I, I quite don't understand what you are doing there. You put out some products like this and this. Do you own those products or, 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 or what's going on? Okay, you make confusion for eBay. If you make confusion for eBay, you didn't pass the test because they don't know what do you have. Okay, that's why you go as 99 goes. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Normal, everything is cool and nice. You don't jump with the products. One of this, one of this, you don't create confusion. Okay, so this is number two. They have two more questions in their list. Okay, what's the number? What, what would be my question for you or you when you come to my organization and you want to join me and i will say okay you are andrew okay you want to dropship some products from amazon okay cool okay but how can i trust you because you see i have audience i don't want you to mess up with my audience why do you think i can trust you because how can i know that you Okay, I'm gonna give you permission now. You come to my to my place, to my uh, eBay, you made your name and so in your newbie and you want to sell, it's fine, it's okay, I got this, I got this, okay? How can I trust you? Why would I need to give you 100 listing limits now? You know what? Let me do like this. I will gonna give you 10 listing limits, okay? And you will show me that you know what to do with those 10 listing limits, that I can trust you, that I know who you are, that I know what you have, and I will gonna see if I can trust you. If I can trust you, I will lift your limits up to 25, okay? But that's your part. You have to show me that I can trust you because I want to see that when my audience, I, and I have millions of them, when my audience is buying something from you, that you take good care of them because I need that you would provide, you have to provide tracking number that they have to follow. They can follow easy to see when it comes and those. Okay. But be aware of this. If my audience will gonna put some, if they will gonna be not satisfied. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you can make some mistakes. Let's say in the learning curve, you can make some mistakes. You are not always gonna get five stars, but if you were gonna start canceling items you put out for sale, hmm? yeah? If you start canceling items you put out for sale, because just Amazon ran it out of the stock, because now it's the holiday season, in the morning the markers was there, and afternoon the markers is out, and your markers is out of stock, and if you start to messing up with my audience, you know what? I will not gonna show you your visibility I will put as low as possible because you don't know what to do. I can't trust you. I don't want you to mess up with my audience. Okay, because I'm the eBay company. I own big company. That's a lot of large money. Okay, I have this freaking weird algorithm Kazini called. Okay, I have guys working for me a lot. So you have to know what you do. Okay, you have to earn your trust. All right. That's number two. Uh, number three, can I trust you? And this is what you have to prove, guys. This is what you have to prove. I don't care if you like it or not like it. Personally, I don't like probably this because I have to do something what I... Here is the question why today even somebody in some groups, I don't know, in which groups I got this question, uh, somebody put it out. I have 30 items put it out for sale and I sold only one. Can I call eBay and ask them to lift my limits? 
okay, of course you can call, but I know the answer already. Why would you need to do this? Because eBay, eBay wants, eBay is running those four-step tests on you. Who you are? What do you have? Can I trust you? Okay, you prove first that after 10 items they gave it to you, you, sh you sold it too, and you ship them, you provide tracking number, and you got the feedback. Oh, okay, it looks like you know what to do. Let me give you, instead of 10, let me lift your limit up to 25. Okay, can you manage 25? Okay, just show me, show me, okay, if you can manage 25. Okay, I sold, I sold six now, cool. And I, and my eBay, I would say, okay, cool. So, and I, I'm talking to my colleague now, hey, you know, John, this Andrew guy, he's the newbie, you see, we gave him 10, he sold two, everything is cool. I think maybe we have to show his, the visibility, to put the visibility for him much more wider because on a 10 he didn't got the visibility of all America because he's selling on ebay.com but he got visibility only in one freaking weird state somewhere okay let us show let us give him 25 and show him to more audience because it looks like he knows what he's doing okay he goes according to our rules he will not gonna make any harm to our eBay company, okay? All right, so, but there is one more four, number four question, okay? The number four question is value. What value do you provide? What value do you provide? Who you are, what do you have? Kind of like a little bit goes together with this, but this is the value. This is the that you. This is this is the critical point where I am emphasizing all the time that we have to put not the quantity out there, but we have to put quality out there, right? So we don't need more than two hundred items. We don't need two thousand items there. Okay, we don't need twenty thousand items there. Okay, we don't need this. This is not what you are doing as a newbie. And if you think that you can do this as a newbie, good luck. You will not gonna pass this one. You will be restricted one day, you will be shut down. Because eBay don't want, this is not value. The value is not in the numbers you put out there. The value is in a quality, not in a quantity. That's what I'm saying, guys, you need more traffic. You don't need more listings, you need more traffic, okay? You know this, you understand this now because you have been for a while with me, okay? You need more value provide them to eBay. If you can, if you will be able to provide, and you will be, because this is all about quick cash coaching, okay? If you are able to provide value for them, not quantity, but value for them, your quantity in money grows. Simple formula, okay? Four things to test. Remember them, all right? That's how you make money. If you fail on them, on those four things, you can work as hard as you want. You can do as hard as you want. You see, there, there, there is maybe somebody is guilty for where you are right now. Okay, guys, at what you are, in, at what position you are in your economy, in your dropshipping, things and how the things go there. Maybe somebody is guilty for that, to bringing you, to leading you to that place, okay? But you are responsible to getting out of that, to getting to your next level, okay? Those guys in quick cash coaching, they made decisions. I'm going to keep continuing talking with them. But for you, have a good day, good night. I hope you are going to remember this. And even if you don't want to learn anything, from me, at least you are going to remember this, and at least you are going to find out, oh, okay, now I understand why my sales are not going anywhere. All right? Cool. See you next time. I have to keep my class with my group. Thank you for being here, and bye-bye for now.